Ah, uh, okay, no pro problem, Captain Edith, if you uh, hear that. But yes, Captain Gimli, haha. -ha. I don't know what to, uh, what else would be suitable to call him. Uh, new game. We shall go on normal. Uh, on, on cinematics, we'll have on text size. Have it as three. Okay. We shall start that in a second. Hopefully the uh, audio is a okay. Continue. Halicon. Come to Halicon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier that is owned and operated by distinguished corporations. Ah, uh, okay, no problem, Cat. My internet's still being freaking terrible, so I don't know how this is going to handle, but hopefully it'll be alright. <laughs> You're in the chat, so security beacon. Um, I'm all right, I guess. I'm still not feeling ill, but I feel really tired constantly. I slept all throughout the week, the bank holiday weekend. How are you doing after your second shot? Hundreds of thousands of colonists will have to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Okay, so six points remaining. Hmm. I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden, friend. Uh. Muscular atrophy is. I think Gimli is average strength. We'll say he has good dexterity. He's pretty intelligent, um, and he has high, uh, good perception. Yeah, I've had loads of headaches. I had a really bad one uh, last night when I went to bed, like just behind my left eye. Um, he has lots of charm. What's temperament? We'll have, we'll have. Right, so they are Gimli's stats. <laughs> and he's got two skills. Um, I think I'm going to put them both into... Uh, Things tend to vanish off tables whenever one you're in around. stealth, uh, because obviously cats are good at stealth. And I think melee because cats are a pugilist. How exciting! Are good at attacking. Okay, so we've got aptitude test. Let the career aptitude that your character possesses. It's okay, so. Colony sounds like a nice entry level. No. Uh, how do I continue? No. Drink a fetch. Block. 
persuade construct no uh, is there anything uh, the hurricane one hand silent science existence safety inspect uh, tossball team mascot I'm gonna say tossball team mascot because obviously he's a cat uh, so he's male uh, do, 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 do. Can I close that? Yes, a male face. Uh, I think that one. Then skin tone. Uh, I think that one. Eye colour. Well, I don't know. Um, God, I think actually no. He's ah cats. His hair would be black, wouldn't it? But his skin would be pale white. I guess. I think. Uh, brow. Brow forward. Gimli doesn't have too many, too much brow. Brow vertical. Eye size. He has kind of big eyes. Um. He has a smallish mouth. Uh, but quite wide, I guess. I need to give him teeth. I wish I could give him, like, some teeth. And then he has a small button nose. Uh, nose tilt. Nah. Nose width. Nose vertical. Guess about there. He does have pouty cheeks though, I guess. So I guess that's kind of Gimli. And then... Hair. He has short hair. He's a short-haired cat, so... I'd probably say... We'll stick with that. And then he's got black fur. So his hair would be pure black. That's blue. Although... He's black, although he is going a little bit white as well. Um, so, is there. I'd guess that's like kind of two tone ish. Black and ginger with a hint of white. Eyebrow style. Do cats have eyebrows? I'll save that one and then facial hair. I guess we'll save that. Um, facial hair colour is 41. I mean, that kind of matches a cat. <laughs> uh, features, makeup. Oh, he has some scars. Do we want makeup on him? I kind of like, is that dirt patch splotches? I guess we could, no, I don't know. Is it skin disease or, s I don't know. Um, I look like a young Wesley Crusher. I mean, I could do that because Gimli does have black lips. So I guess we'll do that. Ah, dirt, here we go. Uh, kind of like that one. And then scar. He's got a scar. Like that above his eye. So I guess we'll have that one. And he's quite... He's about seven. So that's 44 in cat years. Uh, so maybe that. So. 
That there is Gimli T. Cat, our new captain, who's going to take it. Sorry, Captain Edith. Um, he's kind of replacing you. Well, not replacing you, but Gimli T. Cat. Uh, next, start the game. Yes, there we go. I'm happy with that. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. How's the game audio? Is it sounding? Turn up a little bit. I had to uninstall and reinstall um, Streamlabs because. He just kept showing the black screen and I couldn't fix it. Not likely, bootlickers. Bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. I'm not your bootlicker. That's okay. Um, don't worry about it. If you miss anything, it'll all be uploaded up to YouTube anyway. It's just that I'm using Streamlabs Elements to record oh, my gameplay as well for you YouTube. Wondering what's and going I've on, been eh? having trouble trying to get there, it fit. Oh, like, to show it's just showing a black screen. So I had to uninstall everything yesterday and spent today resetting everything back up. Someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> it is. Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> Well, that's not awkward at all. Spacer's Choice. Raising your sneak skill and lots of sneak attacks while stealthing. Your first attack against one where target gains a large amount of damage. Bonus. I've not played this game in quite some time, so I've been looking forward to to playing it. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. Imagine, um, it's pretty much like Fallout mixed with Mass Effect, mixed with like Skyrim. It's quite a fun game to play. And it's so beautiful as well. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and Whoops. move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go. Hawthorne, you idiot. 
Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing <laughs> thing. Nasty way to go. Did it, did it, did it. Uh, circle. First go. Oh. Hello. Sprat. Come here. L3 to sprint. Last week can use tall grass. Take. I think there's an enemy around. Oh, hello. You can't see Gimli. Gimli's an excellent sneak. Oh, they saw me. Crap. Oh, that's just a light. Oh, no. Well done, Gimli. Oh, now my battery's low. You have low health. Uh, press L1. Hello. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Uh, da -da -da -da. Medical. Sit still. I'll patch you up. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract <laughs> yeah, marauders. Yeah, that was us. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, b -b 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 I think Gimli could persuade him. Yeah, okay. You look there like you're on your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. <laughs> He's a, a walking advert. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company I'm off. Policy. Ta ta, friend. What's that? Pick up mag. Satana. Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? Oh. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your time over time very slow while moving and attacking drains it faster. Two minutes refreshes over time. Press R1. Oh, nice. Oh, crap. Gimli can't shoot for crap. Shoot him, Gimli. Well done, Gimli. <coughs> Did 
Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll let my passion machine how long it take. Re Resave the ability. Yeah, okay. God, I've forgotten how to talk. Mock apple. I like apples. Uh, hold. Picks two. Telescopic stats. Well, since Gimli's a more of a melee player anyway. Uh... Oh, what's that? First date, you found a new weapon. Uh, the weapons management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating the weapon and selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. On this page, you can select the weapon. Okay, take care of your weapons and now take care of your enemies. Right, so. Uh, da, 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 how do I. Ah, equip. There we go. And how do I. Ah, triangle. Ooh. I like the sound of that. That like, boom, boom, dunk. They can't see me. They can't see me. Are you ready? Model combat. Oh, I just about broke his spine. Bitch ain't standing there. And I got a trophy. Nice. Right, what's he doing? Is he going to turn up? No, he's coming this way. I'm going to donk him as well. He's found his dead friend. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, damn it, that didn't kill him. That... I knocked his arm off. Oh, hello. What? Gimli, you beast. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gimli. I ain't messing about with you anymore. <laughs> We all need to be nice to Gimli if he's got swings like that in his back. Oh my God. Oh, is this my shit? Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling uh, about. So I, I heard I found one of your... Really? How is he? Um, I'm still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. We'll say that. <laughs> of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just... You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Everyone's Such a walking advert. Right, do space choice guards back down from a challenge. I bet you could get those marauders to tell you where the end of that ship is. I guess I'll have to give you a zero in my Christmas decision series. Um, I'm going to say... I will intimidate. Seriously? But those marauders were... <sighs> you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking loud. Yeah. Here we go. All right, I guess we're going in guns blazing. Oh, there's one there. Hello. Ah, hello. Oh. Turn 
around. Is there anyone else alive out here? Or have we killed them all? Turn around. I don't think there's anyone else alive. I really think we've killed them all. Right around. Well, there's no more dead bodies. I need to search everything. You're empty. You're empty. B I N G O. It's B I N G O. It is B for inglorious I. For inglorious N. For inglorious. This is gonna take a lot of. That it is. Their clothes are awesome. Which ones? The this armor here. Oh, their armor. The trousers look like um, the bad guys. I think I can get what they're wearing, if I remember correctly. The bad guys' trousers look like the um, the trousers that Ponyo's dad wears. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Aider? Unauthorized Hello. access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marada. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Oh, crap. Prepare to eject all in five, four, three, two, one. You realise we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne's dead. I understand. I will require some time to he's process dead, this information. He's dead, and he's not coming back. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. I get it, yes. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh, I doubt I found a part like that in the garage. Astutely observed. However... The probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. <laughs> Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Ooh, she's sassy. Right, so... Oh, you've been promoted. Hey, Captain Gimli's now an admiral. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up your... Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Uh, continue. Okay, so. Auntie Cleo management training, skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend. Where am I? And improving your skills after skill point a core material immediately improves all the special skills that equip to maximum fifty after you can add points ready to specialized skill up to hundred. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonus core every twenty points. Read each skill description to see what they are. 
armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills this helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses but won't give or take away the skill unlocks work dignity improve yourself to hard consumption blah, blah, blah. okay so oh i've got 10 points so i think melee uh defense dialogue put two in stealth one in tech leadership and then i think these three i better put one in ranged and then another in melee and stealth since gimli is a stealthy cat uh apply yeah melee by holding the attack button you charge up an overhead power attack that inflicts significant extra damage doing this charge up during stones help repair strong sweep down how to avoid comes powers not be wasted on personal projects bloody bloody blah okay right so gimli's leveled up how do i oh hold those square to open say this wouldn't happen to be your ship would it because you sure walked in it like it was your ship and if this ship is yours well mister you owe spacer's choice a hefty fine afraid we gotta dock your pay uh i think gimli's gonna lie his way out of trouble oh by the law i'm so sorry I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report These to guys are Edgewater. dim. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. I could tell her I'm, I'm a cat, and she'd probably believe... Well, Gimli is a cat. But, my God, they're not very bright, are they? If I tricked her into thinking that I'm a law enforcement officer... It reminds me of uh, da, 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 a film with Luke Wilson in. Is it called Idiocy or Id Idiocracy or something like that? Oh, hello. Where um, he's like the last smart person. <laughs> Freaking hell. That Oh crap, they want to heal. He like becomes president of, the, of America. And everyone in the world is pretty dumb. What the, this game reminds me of. Right, so you haven't got anything. A large pistol, eh? Idiocracy, yes, that's the film, that's the one. And like, don't they use like an energy drink in the soil or something as water to grow crops? So, this is Edgewater, is it? Silas. I don't trust people called Silas. Don't go oh, if you not. Those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Uh, how do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high wall and low, low prices. Oh my God! Right? Do I tell the truth or do I lie? I'm gonna lie and, pret and pretend my name's. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. You should um, watch Definitely it. It's quite a very stupid film. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of wow. us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Four workers still haven't paid up. 
Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He... Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every <laughs> soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, <laughs> 30, 30 to 1. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem's the paperwork. And former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's choice company oh, no. property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies uh, out of my cemetery, one? company's gonna duck my pay. Hang on, I'm just doing some math. I want to uh, see if he wants me to kill the marauders for him. Three to one. Uh, all my life, work's been real good to me. Fresh air. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be uh, wrong. Do, 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 We're survivors. Do, 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 do. Every now and again. Hang on, I'm just doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30... Three to one. Uh, all my life, work's been real good to me. Uh, Share, exercise. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk. Brave Fine, you're not lives. gonna offer me that job again, are you? Screw you. Right, where are we going? Emerald Vale. I'm going to try and carry on eating my pasta, so I do apologise. Do you hear me asmr in? Okay, where we're going? Uh, selecting perks. Uh, you gain any perks when every two levels. I got one perk available. So what we got? Toughness. That's the relations to the only person you can trust, and that's okay. Uh, years of adrenaline if you're spent prepping your step. They're not slow. You're just fast you take better care of your weapons and armor than most people uh after someone says you just want to work better science so it's just more really accurate you have a base armor rating which also has any armor you wear orange you know additional ammo exhumes and general ads available as better happens next time within orange you restocks Fish. right i think the um oh that one would be nice Oh, I think I'm going to go for that one. 50% from... Oh, back. Apply. Yes. 50% from... Oh, I've got two swords. 73 per second, 110. 73 per second, 73 and 110. Uh, armor management... Right, so what's this one? Armor 3, tech skill plus 5, stealth skills, uh, compare. 
mining gear, hibernation suit, level one, level one, stealth plus five, tech skills. This is down to be an elimination process and transfer colony. So, I've got for condition. Let's have a look. So, if I was to put that on, there you go, cat. I'm gimly dressed like the bad guys now. I'm a bad guy. Do -do 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 -do. Open sesame. Hercules. <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for? Oh, speak of the devil, and he appears. You're right, Gims. Gimli, are you here? Come here. Come here. <coughs> What's up? You can say hello. You can say hello. Say hello. You can say hello. You say hello. Did my arse just fall off? No, I, I whistled. Ah. Oh, no, that, ah. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. That noise is my chair. My chair's, like, creaky. It's, like, eight years old, and it, it's falling apart. Like, a screws fell out at the bottom. So I got this metal rod sticking out of it. And, like, the whole thing just creaks like no tomorrow. I need a new one, but I can't afford it. No, get out of the rubbish, mate. Oh, ah, Gimli. You've just knocked all my cranes over. Are you in a friend? You're a friend. Don't you why me? I, I fed you not too long ago. <laughs> you made a pyramid, cat. Five times combo. Uh, logs. Uh, return to route. Exit. Vending machine discovered. Oh, of course she won. <laughs> the grease monkey, Argo. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Oh, he sounds a bit. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. <laughs> Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Let's get the small talk. Only regulator we've got is the pup of the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But 
I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Go on then, tell me. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Go on then, why is it mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh, you mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. <laughs> the people living in the botanical ah. labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Let's see if we can make a bit of money. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's uh. about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. I am asking you to help us survive. I kind of want to just shoot him in the head. Workers or we they like collapse. him. We belong to one community. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sorry. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove too mousy. You. you will need an administrative passcode in that's... order to enter the plant. Well, I Great. think I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. Oh, I and just want to bang, shoot him in the head. Companions, the capture your own a variety of ways. Companions support the increase your carrying capacity. You're not special. Companion inspiration and only companions in the companion's ledger. Okay. Pa party. Pavarotti, 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 Pavarotti. Just bang, bang, bang. So tempting. Come on, Pavarotti, let's go. Can I equip you with anything? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. Then we talk. Okay, um. Chair map. Pavarti, here we go. Okay, so. Wow, she got a freaking hammer. Okay, I, I don't think she needs anything then. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job. Uh, and all, da, da, da. But that's not the only side of the tale. Go on then. Reed didn't. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes... Don't most narcissists. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh, I can't blame. For, uh, yeah, I, I don't blame people for leaving. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse i think you should talk to the town's vicar about it max his name is uh but uh, but, but, but we don't really need to talk to vicar for glimmer switch empowerment yeah why not we'll talk to him thanks mister i just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody it's best to think on the right and wrong of it that's what my dad used to say anyways
no botch missions. Let's do uh, this one. So where we're we going for these? Oh, so there's someone just up here. Ah, hello, Phyllis. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Uh, I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right. Wow, you're rude. Thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Okay. <laughs> I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest <laughs> living person relative to his body at time of death. Wow. I'm the one who found him, you see. So, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Wow. Freaking hell. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can wow, they really do take the um, epitome, is it the epitome? Of like working yourself to death, every worker's the company owns them basically. Freaking hell, I've worked in some places like that. <laughs> Where's this next person? Almost lost a finger in the cannery. Hello. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. <laughs> hey, take these uh, handguns one. Wave your gun. Hand over all your bills. Please don't kill me. I, I still gotta pay my gravesite fees. Wait a second. I heard marauders don't talk much. You can talk just fine. Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. He's some sort of wandering alienist walking into a man's own domicile pestering him about his uh, mental state. Thing. What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. So Silas can afford a hired thug, but I still gotta pay him a burial tax. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. <laughs> May as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. You're being paranoid, mate. I am? Law, oh, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known symptoms. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance him for me, I could really use the help. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. 
I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. Just keep your head down when you're in there. And I know that. Okay, Wait, right. Thank you very much, sir. Um, who else we got to rob? You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Esther? You. Hello. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Uh, he's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's a psychomastic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Uh, what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Go on, tell I me. Got you implicated. Alright, here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Uh, did a dad betray me for my trouble? Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do. I will think That's about it, friendo. Friendolino. Right, where are we going next? I Hello. The Conrad sells real good. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to oh, lawfulness. Oh, wait. Uh, d d d intimidate. I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains okay. for interment. Well, Silas sent me. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, uh, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my uh, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own... Just give him an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I'll let you think. I'll let you know. Much obliged. Still think I should put a bullet in someone's head. Weapon parts. Opens. Oh, bloody hell. He's a uh, <laughs> scientist. Brain matter. Examine. Conrad. Phyllis. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I've still got a teeth. Everything's processed. I've got some new processes. Body wipes. Stick around and find. We we sell the teeth as well. That's why I used to be to pay for this body wipe. Never survived one. Ah, interesting. So they robbed someone of his teeth. In which case, am I stealth? Does he see me? Am I a okay to... Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing at all. Intimidate wherever I want. I was just leaving. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? 
How can you accuse me of have a go at me for stealing when you just robbed someone's gold teeth, mate? Friendarino, you ought to think about these things. For Gimli Teacat puts a bullet in your head. Where am I going now? You and me both, sister. I'm not going this way. That's for sure. Wanted. Dead or alive. Bertie Cotton. Doc Maybell. Bertie Cotton and Doc Maybell. Oh, that's you. I wanted, wanted, dead or alive. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. Woo a minute. Next one God, I just want to shoot everyone. When Gimli's had a bad day and he just wants to go running in, guns are blazing. Dee 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 When I was little, we'd get freighters. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Uh, no, uh... You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanics. Din, 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 din. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron. Oh, yeah, iron. gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the. F when the swarms of mechanicals come <laughs> clanging on over that hill, where. Well, if you, you need a resistance. Cowering. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Well, tuna cans mostly, some spacers chaw, a few bit cards. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't they have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard? This scout must not be permitted to return to its base. Mechanical's got a weak spot. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's <laughs> fine. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of God, I'm milking this man for his money. Yeah, I've been saving up right. a couple of bits. Goodbye, soldier. Uh, da, 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 da. Use workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready in tip top shape. Hmm. I don't think I have any mods, do I? No. Nope, no mods. Shame. Mr. Ouch. Pavarotti, upper party. Right, so where am I going now? There or this way? Oh, wow, look at the water. I love water effects in games. Oh, hello. Oh, was that you that just squealed Pavarotti? I think it might have been. This reminds me of a bit from Dragon Age Inquisition. I can't remember what the level's called now, but it's full of like green rocks and stuff like this. What have we got over here? Ho, ho, ho. I have a machine gun. Yeah, huh? That's on account of how I've never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, selling mechanical computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, 
belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got <laughs> sent here. Wow. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math. So she's a science, some sort of scientist then. Interesting. Wow, seriously, look at the planet. It's like you can almost see Uranus from here. But um, shh. I think she's hilarious. Ooh, hello. I just want to kill things. Ah, I'm stuck. Freaking graves, man. Hey, hey. Come for a visit? dude, I'm trying to talk Not to you. Come today. here. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can about do these for you? fees? You run into yeah, Conrad trouble? can't pay. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Get bought on the disinfectant. Gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Well, that's the word extortion. <laughs> Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Ah, oh, they're not very smart here. What else we got? Grave diggings. Uh, fine we need to talk about Eugene. Always. Yeah. What about him? I read a letter from Phyllis. You mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. Funny thing. Hi, Drake. Ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth. I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Cheers for the hydrate, Cat. Everyone in the stream, make sure to hydrate. Let me know if you uh, find That would do it. Right, so, where was his grave? Wow, that's a lot of graves. Too many ones that look freshly dug, so I don't think we'll be able to find which run it was. Never mind. Let's uh go extort the barber. Actually, I wonder if there's anything that we can read. Uh, do you want to do any elections with you and you work in the bloody bloody bar? Corporation said a medium sized water with the gun came out to the company achievement. <laughs> Congratulations, here's an award. Uh, pick two criminal activity, trespass, murder, or illegal activities, and a frowned upon by society. I don't think no one saw me, did they? Dang, that's impressive. But you're my friend, you shouldn't be. Cigarette lighter, a simple metal bracelet. Model spaceship and a jeweled ring. Oh, flywheel as well. And the telescope scoping. Heavy ammo, light ammo, bit cartridge. Okay, so there's nothing else. Is oh, the professors. Professor oh, the glasses. Nice. Gimli could have some glasses. Look rather dapper. Uh, messages from. Da 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 da. Your subscription to your station is bad luck to bait Rene from Space Choices. Uh, return to roots, inventory logs, uh, space, 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 burial invoice, password required. We can hack it. Name Theodore Granger, cause of exploration, industrial action, burial status, stressing to 13F, grace that for paying account in human terms. Heads corpse was missing a hand, deducted five bits from a grave statue because I'm a kindly fellow. <laughs> so someone's ha had a hand missing, so he's like, yep. Yeah, We'll let you save five pound or five bits on that because he's missing a limb. Pot 
Terrare Biological Overview. So it has a mouth, like a trunk. Uh, eyes. Life cycle. So, oh, it starts as eggs, a tadpole, a land creature, and then a bird. Oh, interesting. It's like a three in one. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are the... Oh, I've got to extortion. My man, haven't I? Where are you? What can I do for you? Uh, Persuade, I know about you. Do you want to use his teeth collateral? Uh, let's. You know about Eugene? Uh, How? Phyllis. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't well, approve you of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Did he though? Did he really? Uh, I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Yes. Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, then gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite. I don't fees. care. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. <laughs> we can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Ed. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Aren't you a good guy? I just want to kill things. Just let me kill things. Something I can do um, for you? You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting. Uh, I went out my ways. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Really? Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves Thank another. You. Abernathy was sick. <laughs> the plague? That's disgusting. I sh what? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A. For Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you <laughs> see? Yeah. The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. There's never enough games. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as uh, rumors go. I don't Is there understand. a reason you're asking? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Didn't even pick Ain't up on what I said, did ya? Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a look. I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Troubles in the asking. Boy, don't much care for folk running their mouths spreading hoaxes. Okay, bye.
And we've leveled up again. Right, where are we going there? Uh, right, so put melee, two in melee, one in ranged, one in defense, two in dialogue, two in stealth, uh, tech, and leadership. Uh, yep. Hey, hang on a minute, I wanted a uh, journal. Die, robot, die. North to the landing pad, I'm going to die, what's the connection to the Emerald Valley Community Center? I think I'm going to do. I'm going to fall down a rabbit hole of. freaking. Um, side quests now. Side quest after side quest after side quest. Da -da -da -da. Where's this robot that I've got to kill? North is Zisfe. No, it's saying it's in there. Oh. Maybe it is inside. Alright, we'll take that, and we'll take that, and we'll take that. Wow, is that lava? Awesome. Oh, enemies. Enemies, we can kill. Where are you? Is it? Oh. Oh, it's those things. Oh, freaking hell. I'm getting my arse handed to me here. Did it just evolve? Oh, it's a different creature. <laughs> I thought it had evolved on me for a second. Right, where's this... Ra Why am I slow? Am I over... Oh, no, I'm stuck in some... Something. That's why I couldn't sprint. Ah, here you are, Mr. Robot. Searching for a repair bay. Error. Error. systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you want to. Uh, go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. <laughs> uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. Be more careful. Bye, Jeremy. Jeremy. Should we shoot you, Jeremy? Bang, bang, Jeremy. She died. Right, uh, let's go report that. Ooh, look at the ship flying. Let's go report that we've taken care of the robot. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified. And then I see the look in your eyes. Turn around. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? <laughs> uh, you are passing fair soldier, and I want to say to you, you are one enemy's legion, what you need to think but I might strike in a cold of mechanical heart. The enemy is legion. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. Chaff, ain't it? The sir, yes, cover. sir. So I guess we're going to dig up the toilets. People always hide weapons in toilets, don't they, in like the cistern. It's like Dwight in um, the office where he's got, he's showing like where he's got all this stash of weapons hidden around everywhere. He's got like a samurai sword in the ceiling, pepper spray in his drawer. I think he's got a knife under his chair. He's got a blowpipe and poison darts in the bathroom, in the toilet, in the cistern. It's crazy. Everything hidden everywhere. You 
think corporate's ever gonna go there? You're not a big nope. thinker, are you? Gotta find his lavy. Uh, let's fix Fundal. Don't I have to do something else in here? I'm sure. I'm sure there's something else that I need to do. Uh, yeah, did it really leave the Atlanta deserters? Uh, stranger in the land. Belong tomorrow. Do, 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 oh, community centre. Uh, completed. Okay, so there's nothing else in the can. I'm sure someone mentioned the canteen. And I don't know why. Oh well. Never mind. Dissident Hunter. When indentured, servants are freed. Anarchy soon follows. Raising your dialogues gives a good conversation. Also, lots of combat dialogues. And we've got to run all the way around this way. Hey dude, 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 I got your package. What is it? My dude, I found your package. Dangerous leaving it lying behind the toilet. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments <laughs> from old Ludwig. Fair enough. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of Ooh. the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode. Uh, don't worry, I've already got that. Thompson. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not uh, no problem. Brain. If you die horribly... I will pour out a can do, thank you very much. Okay, so you've got no weapon modification, so not much work bench. Oh, so to an add in scope can increase the rate of fire and more. Uh no, you know what, I'm not gonna upgrade a pistol now. So I could probably do with it on another pistol. So where are we going? Feeling lucky, punk? Well, are ya? These are all vampire graves. <laughs> it's like a sea mine. Ooh, hello. Is this a tunnel? It is. We can go under the mountains, Gandalf. Ooh, the mines of Moria. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That is why we don't go through the mines of Moria. There are dangers that even you know about. 
Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf White Beard. A can of cheese. I like cheese. Easy. We shall take all of that. Thank you very much. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Well, are you? We found a power plant. We're going to kill some people. If I can get in. Oh, well, now we are. Hello. The low damage weapons are in effect here. Maybe I should have equipped Hanzo Sarge. You hear a faint honest missile. It's just all about shooting through the gaps, Pavati. Can they come through the lightning? Oh, freaking hell, they got laser beams. Freaking laser beams. There's a flying one there. And another, another ship floats in. Hey, it's... Oh, crap, he's here. It's never wasted an opportunity when you can kill things. Kill every, oh, crap, I'm dead. Gimli died. He died. He died with pride. Uh, 2143. This is why you need to uh, autosave all the time. Yeah, I could have done with a health potion a bit ago. It would have been uh, useful. Uh, where are we? We've got to go get. I think I'm going to see if I can equip Pavati with something a little bit. Although, light machine gun, light assault rifle, 180. Wow, 320. I think I'm going to give her that. And then, uh, let's keep everything you know about what controls the follow distance, success by medium. Weapons, primary attack with melee weapons, missile strip, three million range weapons based on range attacks. Okay, right, so I think we will leave her aggressive and then I'm going to equip the light assault rifle. Uh, unequip, repair, breakdown, swap. I don't think I want to do that, so let's have a look at the all right, well, not my, my Tontorus. Pew, pew. Oh, I've only got, like, not many bullets for it. Pew, pew. Is there a workbench in here? No. Crappity crap. We're all going to die down here. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for <laughs> a license terraforming. She don't know how to skip rocks or anything. Oh my, hello. Oh, you're a big one. Primal Ravager. Oh, she's ripping him a new one. Oh my god, they throw stuff at you.
Have they not killed Pavati, have they? I think they have. You son of a bitch! Oh, I like that how it tells you. Will you just die already? Thank you, my god. We'll take that. Take that. We'll take that, we'll take that. Thug kit increases melee damage and defensive skills. I need to heal again. Maybe if we try from further... Oh, ah, no, more. Uh, save. Hey, look at your <laughs> Man, I wish I had some grenades. And I died. No. Turn around every now and then. Now I see why there's a tunnel underneath. It makes sense. Terra on the monarch. Terra on the monarch express. I think we should just, um, yeah, Pavati, come with me. We going under the tunnel. We free. This isn't under the tunnel. Assistant to who? He's dead, damn it, and he's not coming back. Ah, uh, I'd love them to blow up. Oh, you've added grenades there. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Grenades. Um, are secretly party poppers. So when they boom, confetti comes out of them. around me. I think I'm going to save it again to be on the safe side. Right then, robots. I am coming for you. You're going to die. Unlike those freaking things that are up there that were bloody hard to kill. I'm not ready to fight them again. No way. No way. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't know, can. No, I don't think we can sneak. Hello, Mr. Robot. Here we go. Wow, that's not very good, is it? Although... One party, where are you? Are you killing? Are you winning, son? There you are, come Is there a flying one near me? Oh, it does get hurt by electricity. 
Ha! Suck on that, dickwad. Dickwad. Ha 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 ha, yes! 500 embarrassment, ha ha! Oh crap. I'm going to have 500 embarrassment in a minute. Man, I wish I had electricity. Oh my god! What the frick is that? That's like a... Oh god, is it... Oh god! Is it a snake? A leech? A worm? I have no idea. Test it, test it. Pull the grenades. I can smell grenades. There we go. <laughs> I've got embarrassment of 500%. But the robots are starting a descent. I need to kill them. Yes, I do. There's a giant on the loose. And I, oh, but I killed you. There we go. Armor parts. Oh, yes. Insert Horatio Kane putting on his glasses after that. Yeah. That worm's back. I think that worm's not evil. I need to heal, actually. You know what? Come here, you. I'm just going to hit you. Go on, Gimli. Go on. Yeah, you tough son of a bitch. I think it is, you know. Oh, oh. It's a, it is a bower. What's it say? These. Why is it not letting me? These generally altered snakes are growing on farms. So they often need help sliding in. Unless you hand fed since they cannot hunt on their own. Does not like being poked. It's a friendly snake. We shan't touch it then. But I don't. I just want to poke around in here. Poke the snake. Poke the snake. Poke the snake. Oh my god, there's still another one alive. Snake friend! Oh crap. Freaking hell, Cavati. You certainly wiped him a new one. Earrings. Does your ears ring? Mine don't, because I answer them. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm hilarious. But um -tsh. Uh, where are we going? Here. That will do. Right, Capt. I think I'm going to end this stream here for now. Um, because it's 10 o'clock and... Yeah. And whatnot. So, uh, da -da -da -da. thanks for stopping by. Thanks for everything that you've done in the commands and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to do a raid tonight because I, I can't see much point. Uh, da, 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 da. What else was there? 
Oh yeah, I'm going to be streaming Resident Evil 8 on Friday. Oh, I could have crept in through here. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Um, and I think we might be finishing that on Friday. And then I've got either Devil May Cry 5 or Near Automata to install for the following Friday. Uh, but I'll be continuing The Outer Worlds every Wednesday. I might move the time forward a bit. Um, I'm not too sure yet. I'll see generally how it goes. I don't know if anyone's going to be bothered to watch it at around 8 o'clock. Um, so I might move it a little bit earlier. We will see. Um, apart from that... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. The da, 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 da. when you're able to game, let me know what games you got and whatnot, and we'll sort it all out. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna save it, and I will see you all in the next stream. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you all on Friday. <laughs>